Hello everyone, K Cam Red Rooster here. I want to show you a little something else that we do. Uh, I never mentioned before. I didn't know if anybody would be interested. However, let's get started. Take a look at this garden. The rain has given me an abundance of peppers. Can you see those peppers on there? Jalapenos, look at that back one. There's jalapenos all down here. And listen, these sweet peas, they are like huge and they're everywhere. Would you know if you came across something like this that, let me, let me show you what we got here. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm gonna have to do a part two with this. Here, you're. Can you bust this open real quick, so they can see what's going on with that sweet pea? And the pods are deliciously sweet. Pull the string off. You bust that open. That's your sweet peas, man. And look, these babies are edible. Look at that. No pesticides. That's a meaty, sweet, green pea. That's what you're supposed to be eating. Look. All organic. And... Mm. And go ahead, pull the strings off of that and let them see this. Pull the strings off of those. Break that in half. The shell here is as sweet as candy. Would you know that if you came across that? Okay, I can't make the video too long. Oh my goodness, that's good. Tomatoes are going. I'm I've got my acorn squash is one down there. Can you see that green acorn squash? Tomatoes are coming up too. Look at the size of this turnip green. I mean mustard. Is this mustard or turnip? Mustard. Mustard, that's it. Where's that baby at? Oh my. Look at that. Fresh. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now, my wife and I have a buddy buddy plan that works out pretty good. I do all the soil prep. You know, we, we do composting in here. I, I mix into the soil peat moss, grass clippings, wood ash, leaves. Till all that in there real good. Only do a little uh, wood ash, cause you know I burn wood. Uh, just a little bit in the winter I'll throw in here and let it mix on in. Um, so I do the, the soil prep. She does all the planting. She, my, my wife is beautiful with this plant. That woman's got a green hand, <laughs> not, not just the thumb. Um, she does most of the harvesting and I do the majority of the eating. It works out that way. <laughs> hey, it's the buddy buddy plan. I'm going on the other side. I'm going on the other side. Look at all these peas. We're getting ready to harvest these peas and put them in the bag in the freezer. And uh, coming around the other side. We're going past the asparagus. Pass the tomatoes, and I'm looking at harvesting cucumbers. Cucumbers. And I'm gonna have a green tomato for breakfast. Mmm, mmm. Fried green tomato. There's cucumbers all in here. Get down here. There's cucumbers. Yeah. Down here, cucumbers. There's another big one there. Look at that. Juice coming out of it. Eat me! <laughs> I will. Look at that. And I, I gotta do some weeding here. Those are weeds right there. Not edible. The collards are doing good though. The collards are doing good. Wow. 
Yep. We thought that this was the running type of a uh, of, uh, squash so I built this trellis for my wife to last for years and we planted the squash down here at the bottom and it's instead of letting it run all the way out we're gonna plant something over in that area over there but the squash is to come all the way up the trellis and down the other side there and then you know we run it along here wherever it go you know whatever extra that it needs to go along here however it was just a bush acorn squash it wasn't a runner so i'm going to end up putting some beans or something down here and let it run up and then i might do something i can't do anything with that other side now but i'll let them run up and then fold them over and let them run down and then harvest them off of that. But that thing came out good. If you're interested in gardening, leave something in the comments and I'll show you what I do to my soil. Okay, thanks for watching. Please, what am I, what, what, I keep forgetting. Please like, subscribe, and share. That's it. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm only me, man.